Generally accepted accounting principles in short gap generally uses one of two measurement principles, the historical cost principle or the fair value principle, selection of which principle to follow generally relates to trade-offs between relevance and faithful representation, relevance means that financial information is capable of making a difference in a decision, faithful representation means that the numbers and descriptions match what really existed or happened, they are factual. The historical cost principle or we can say cost principle dictates that companies record assets at their cost. This is true not only at the time the asset is purchased, but also over the time the asset is held. For example, if Best Buy purchases land for $300,000 in 2020, the company initially reports it in its accounting records at $300,000. But what does Best Buy do? If by the end of the next year, the fair value of the land has increased to $400,000. Under the historical cost principle, it continues to report the land at $300,000. The fair value principle states that assets and liabilities should be reported at fair value which means the market value of an asset or settle a liability. Fair value information may be more useful than historical cost for certain types of assets and liabilities, for example, Let's think about Best Buy again. Best Buy purchases land for $300,000. The company initially reports it in its accounting records at $300,000. But what does Best Buy do? If by the end of the next year, the fair value of the land has increased to $400,000. Under the fair value principle, it should be recorded at the market value, which is $400,000. In determining which measurement principle to use, companies weigh the factual nature of cost figures versus the relevance of fair value. In general, most companies choose to use cost, only in situations where assets are actively traded, such as investment securities. Do companies apply the fair value principle extensively?